Hello, this is Bug News, and today we're going to talk about nasal decongestants. Um, in essence, the FDA, and we're talking about nasal decongestants over the counter, um, with, with uh, phenylephrine, um, you know I butchered that, but uh, I think the initials are PE. Um, the FDA is saying that these don't work. Um, the ones with the PE on the label over the counter. Um, <laughs> I guess it's, it's real wild. I guess you can't go back and get your money back if you've purchased these items. And you may already know they didn't work to, to some degree. Um, but we'll, uh, I'm just surprised that if they don't work, why there's no... Um, penalty for the company that has been selling to the people thinking that they, they should have worked. Um, from my understanding now, maybe the other decongestants work without the PE um, uh, those probably work but they don't have the PE as far as over the counter which is um, you know, it's pretty sad to some degree because you, you know, you buy this stuff and then some, and then it you buy this stuff and then of course you know it's not like a dollar you know it's at least five dollars unless you catch it on sale or something like that and sometimes you buying it under duress meaning that you you're thinking it's working and it doesn't do anything might put you to sleep <laughs> some people think and this is this is for uh colds and allergies so um some of the brands, uh, appearance ingredients are common over counter cold allergy medications such as Dayquil, Mucinex, Benadryl, Allergy Plus, Congestions, and Sudafed. Remember, PE is usually the, what's on the box for a lot of these. And that's, if you see that, it ain't going to work. <laughs> save your money. <laughs> Blow your nose and save your money. But this is just a little health information for you. This is Bug News. Please like, share, and subscribe and comment. Thank you very much.